overflows. Technique of clearing the memory, Jati Samran. It is a technical process and one should not try this on one's own because it is like you are opening a floodgate and when the memories start coming in such a gush it becomes difficult for you to handle it ordinary person to handle it you are not able to sort all the memories of this past this present life then how can you sort out if all of a sudden the memories of the past life open like a Pandora's box and it was very difficult so in the process now the master has to check whether the person is really getting into his past lives or he is just imagining or dreaming so for that he again and again creates the same situation so that he is not dreaming number of times and when the person comes to the same point and he starts narrating the same story same uh, in same thing then it is neither imagination nor he is dreaming and he is basically unconscious so he cannot manipulate and come back to the same point each time when he is being taken to that point now there are the various things the eyes the ears the nostrils the sex centers they are all have their centers in the brain scientists specifically the brain surgeons have discovered 700 such centers in your brain which contain the memories of the entire life this and the past and the strangest phenomena is that was discovered that they could not believe in the beginning but they had to because there was no other choice for example one center in the brain controls your genitals your sex thing. next one controls your eyes movement third your ears movement and when a particular center in the brain is touched by an electrode then it will happen that that particular center will get activated there was a scientist ac delgado he worked on the um, the rats and he placed the electrodes in their brain to activate the sex center the moment it was activated they became sexually active and he continued giving the vibrations at that particular center or activating that center then ultimately the the rats could not control and they had died ordinarily you think that genital is where sex is genital are just the offshoots the main instruction comes from that particular center in your brain and if you touch it with an electrode or a thin needle electricity running through it um, the if you touch that center suddenly the man starts doing certain things at a particular center for example if you touch the dream center and if he is awake even if he is awake he will start dreaming start imagining and you take away the electrode that process will stop the great surprise was that the if you touch the needle again and the same center will become active again and it will take you to the same point but there is one thing that is different if you are playing a videotape or an audio tape then what happens the you stop for certain reasons at a particular point and when you restart it it will start from where it has left but this does not happen in case of brain brain has an auto reversal process if you stop something it will go back to the auto reversal mode and when next time that center is activated you will start from the very beginning
the brain will start from that particular dream or particular talk will begin from the very beginning. That is the reason in the process of transformation when a master is working with a seeker, certain sessions are shorter while the other sessions are longer. It all depends upon the two things. Number one, the brain has an auto-reversal process. If for some reason I stop clearing that at that moment, then next time I have to start back all over again. So for that reason, in order the certain session become longer. So sometimes the seeker feel that today the session was long, yesterday the session was short. It is what has to be cleared. What has to be cleared? If there is too much things to be cleared, then the session has to be longer until the, all that has been brought out. So in the life sessions, when I arrange it with certain seekers, so I activate it through any particular word or sentence or any method. There is no particular shortage of any method. I may send you a photograph. I may use a particular word, a particular message, a sentence, and that will work like an electrode, like a needle through which the electricity is passed to that particular center. It is touched there and you start clearing up narrating. So then I am listening to you. You are doing it and I'm not affected by it. And in that, your memories start clearing. At the same time, when you begin to meditate and the meditation deepers, deepens, two things happen. I clear up that thing, like there was an infection at a, partic at a particular point in your body, in your system, in your the outer skin. So that has to be cleared first. All the the things that needs to be removed so that it is cleared, cleaned. And then the process of um, the auto healing will begin. So first of all, the wound of the emotional wounds are taken out, cleared. So it is a cleaning process. The infection has to be cleaned. Certain things have to be used. Like a doctor's taking care of the wound that you have, an infected wound. And then he, when he finishes, he allows it to activate the natural healing process. The similar thing happens, the master, first of all, through a particular in season, he clears up the, the stars uh, situation. When you start bringing it out, so all that is coming out. And when those past memories, the wounds of the memory are memories are coming out. Then when he finish that the everything has come out of the wound, maybe it may not be necessary. All will come out. So in one session, a complete cleaning is done when it comes to the psychological memory. And then he will set the process of auto healing. And that happens through meditation. So it seems that the your brain contains all the memory, all the wounds of the memory, specifically psychological memories of this life and the past life. <laughs> so in the process of Jati Samran, the master has to work first with this life memories. <laughs> And when the wounds of this life are being cleared and you continue the process of meditation and certain techniques which are your told, that automatically the memories of the past life will also begin to clear. <laughs> For that, not much effort has to be made. Clearing the immediate memory is something that immediately bothering you. It is because of certain circumstances and situations. 
that has to be clear. Then medicine becomes, then meditation becomes medicinal. It acts as a medicine that dries up that wound and that clears up, even clears the root of that emotional disturbance. Because like I had mentioned, Buddha said, he came as a prince came to him to become a renunciate, a sannyasi. But when he found the problems started coming up, he decided to seek an apology from Buddha that he will not be able to continue. Then Buddha carried him in his past lives. He said, you have done this several times. And each time when the problem came up, you automatically walked out of that situation. Similar thing happens when I am dealing with seekers and they mention their problems with their spouse, with their relationships. So it happens that they are when the point the relations reached, relationship reached at a particular point and something triggered off, the memories started surfacing and you walked out of that relationship for one reason or the other. Now that has not been cleared. So after some time, you entered into another relationship without clearing those memories, the cause that has been responsible for you to walk out of that memory, that cause has not been cleared. The infection, why are you getting again and again cold? Uh, the regular traditional medicine, it works only on the symptoms. Symptoms is outward, cause is deeper. A master works on the cause. What has caused you to walk out of that particular relationship and then after a gap of certain time, you enter into another, but the cause was not removed. So same cause will be responsible for you to walk out of this new relationship that you have entered and this process will continue. Until the memories, the causes are cleared from your psyche from your consciousness. These are psychological memories. So psychology does not go as deep as meditation goes, as the techniques of Jati Samran goes. So you have to be aware of it. Let us say, for instance, I am using the words, I am using the jokes, I am using the sentences, use the post. The, all these are important to trigger off something in you, this is the general method. And when through that, many of the problems are cleared up with the other people. And at times people mention, since they are listening to me or following me, their life has started changing for a better. This is the generalized technique. With certain persons, even with that person who have experienced, who have mentioned this, that since the person has started listening to him, to me, the life is changing slowly and slowly. So if the need arises, I have to take into the individual sessions to make the process faster, let it be accelerated. So it is a very technical and deep, deep technique that one has to work on. Enough for now.